just checked on this uh, this patch of oysters here. Nice oyster log here. Boy, them babies, someone came out early. Pitch. Mongo. Some oyster mushrooms that have been marinated in beef broth. And then we're going deep frying. It tastes just like chicken fried steak, okay? <laughs> Delish. One of the best frying mushrooms there is right there for uh, breading and deep frying. Gorgeous. All right, we're cooking it up. Okay, we're making some uh, some oyster mushrooms that have been marinated in beef broth, and then we're going deep frying. It tastes just like chicken fried steak. Okay, how do you make uh, mushrooms taste like chicken fried steak that's better than the real thing? That's how you do it. Um, the best frying mushroom that there is, even better than morels, are oysters. These are fresh today, real young, nice fresh oysters. Beautiful, okay? Um, got a bag here, a bag with warm water, okay? It's it's not warm, but we're gonna put, we're gonna take some mushrooms and put it in that warm water. So you don't want your water warm enough that you're gonna start cooking the mushrooms, but you want it warm because we're gonna dissolve some beef stock in that water so warm water helps dissolve your beef stock quicker you don't have to you're just impatient i want this to dissolve right away um, just even for a little bit of mushrooms we're going to go pretty heavy on the beef stock we're going to let these soak overnight we're going to bread them fry them up tomorrow i want these i want these mushrooms to get totally absorbed by this so go put that beef stock in the water and uh Gonna chunk these mushrooms up and throw them in there. Let them marinate. Yeah, got a pretty, pretty dark liquid there. We want a lot of marinade. We want these babies to taste better than beef. We want to taste. We want these to taste beefier than beef. Why would you do that to a mushroom? I don't know, but that's what's great. That's what mushrooms do. They absorb and intensify the flavor of anything. And when you add beef broth to this mushroom and marinate it overnight, it tastes better than any beef that you would use to make a chicken fried steak. I guarantee it, it's wonderful. So yeah, want a pretty pretty dark broth. We want we want a lot of this beef flavor to get into these bad boys, all right? Um, just gonna tear these up a little bit. Nothing fancy, okay? Odd shapes are good. Drop them right in there, right in the pool. Big ones, little ones. They've been soaking for 24 hours in the um, in the beef broth. Okay, so here's one that's been soaking. Okay, we can see the color on that. And then here's the original color. So you can see how much how much browner the marinated ones are. They've soaked up that beef broth. And uh, yeah, you can see how much darker it is than, than one that hasn't been marinated. The breading, we're going to go with half flour. Okay, they've got about a cup of flour in here. And then... About a about a cup of a cup of cornstarch, okay? Half half, fifty fifty, cornstarch and flour mix. Um, flour is cheaper. To cover the cover your meat, cover your mushroom, whatever you're breading. But the cornstarch gives it that crunch, and even as your fried um, food cools down, the cornstarch helps it keep stay crunchier, and it even gets crunchier as it cools off if you use cornstarch. Don't ever get soggy on you, cornstarch. Okay, you got your cornstarch and flour mixture. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the juice, okay, from from the marinating mushrooms and put it in there. Just start with a spoonful. We're not trying to make a batter. We're gonna have basically a dry dredge to fry these mushrooms in, but we wanna put a little bit of moisture in there to cause this to kind of ball up and curdle up. Okay, so. We got some lumpy little moist balls in there, okay? Hopefully we can see that. Um, I hope, maybe. 
Okay, but we don't want these these big of a, a lumps, okay? These are like quarter size, you know, lumps. Um, those would be too hard and crunchy, okay? We don't want that. We want little flakes of crispiness. So what I do is I come back in here with a chopper. I got this chopper, and I chop it into smaller flakes. Or you could use a fork and just go through there and, and mash them real good, okay? Um, I'm just going to... Uh, Chop those up till I get a some nice little some nice little flakes in there. Okay, and we're not going with a wet wash. Um, we got wet mushrooms right here. The uh, the, the 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 juice and the the um, the marinade on here. The um, the bee stock. It's it. These are sopping, soaking wet. Okay, when we slap these babies in here. It's gonna it's 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 sticking just fine. Okay, see all the lumpy goodness on there. Yeah. Okay. Here's one that's cooked up, about ready. I uh, can see we got this uh see how we got these uh this lumpy these lumpy ridges of goodness. Okay, we don't just have a flat, a flat breading, okay, a dry, flat breading. Got all that lumpy goodness. Yeah. Or look at this one. See all them little lumps in there? Yeah. That's goodness. That's character, flavor, appearance. It's excellent. Always put your fried, uh, fried gremlins on on a wire rack don't let them ever set on a wet nasty wet uh paper towel keep them up on a on a rack keep some air under them I hit them with a little of this okay little little whatnot on top boom this is basically just like a um oh like a not nashville hot powder but without so much heat it's not uh so it's basically it's just it's uh paprika um it's 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 about 80 percent paprika and then there's uh sugar paprika sugar red pepper black pepper salt real simple little mix i put that on lots of stuff so it's like a, it's like a Na nashville hot but without the scoring hot okay all right, here we go. We've got some pork and beans and pickles, a little seasoning on the beans. Beautiful. Chicken fried steak flavored mushrooms. Killer. I'm not just doing it. So I'm not I'm not putting on the show. It's good. You know, you can go get you can go get oysters. You can grow oysters in your home in the basement. Hand of the woods, um, whatever. Crappie, walleye. You go buy a catfish in the store. You go buy all that in the store. Have it sent to you in a box on the front porch. But when you go out in the woods. And you pick you some fresh oysters and turn them into chicken fried steak. I'm not kidding you. This right here is the best piece of chicken fried steak you ever had. It's a oyster mushroom marinated in beef broth, and I'm telling you, it's killer. When you're cooking mushrooms and you're frying them, you have to do a high heat, quick fry. Um, you do not want to dissolve your mushroom inside there or get to where you're frying the meat of the mushroom. You want that mushroom tender and soft. You don't want that grease to get to it. You don't want that real um, intense heat from the cooking to get to it. You want that crispy outside with soft, tender mushroom inside that barely got cooked. Um, yeah. You want that, that, that crunch with that softness inside. 
I'm telling you, it sounds crazy. Marinade and beef broth, I'm telling you, it's not mine. Huh. Some plain old pork and beans. How much did this meal cost? Well, it actually costs about 40 bucks in gas. All right, we'll see you at the next spot. It was a long drive to them woods. Later.